Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be your weekly general reading for the sign of Capricorn for the week of October 27th. And a very special happy Halloween goes out to each and every one of you out there. Have a safe and happy Halloween. And a very special thank you to each and every one of you who have been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting it noticed and sharing with others. And for all the thumbs up on all the videos that you've watched. And of course the lovely comments. Thank you so much for doing that for me. It is truly appreciated. All right. Let us see what your first card is. Ooh, five of cups, a little bit of regret and remorse, overthinking, overanalyzing something, having, looking back a little bit, wondering maybe I shouldn't have handled that way, maybe I should have done something different, but you're realizing that also you cannot change it, undo it, or fix it, it's a done deal, and you're learning to let your past stay in the past and move yourself forward. The Knight of Swords, look at you charging ahead. There's a trip here for many of you. You know, it's a fast trip, it's unexpected, but it's going to be something that you're quite enjoying. You know, this is a relationship, and this could be in family matters, friendships, siblings, um, affairs, work related. There's so many relationships out there that a person can have, is starting to show its true colors. You're going to tell them how it is and what it is your expectations are. And if they're not willing to change, then you're going to just cut them loose. You know, sometimes you have to let go of friendships because they've just outgrown themselves. Now, this could be what's happening here for many of you. Maybe it's just a little bit too much gossip going on and you want it to stop. And the only way you know to do that is to cut that part off. And the Nine of Wands, yeah, you're definitely standing your ground on this decision. You know, it's taken you a lot to get here. But once you make your mind up, boy, you just stick to it. You just don't change. You don't want to. You don't have to because it's taken you a lot to get to stand your ground and the king of pentacles yeah there you go yeah your investments are starting to pay off you can see that you can now put away some money for yourselves into the future and you're now looking into seriously what is going to give you the most money you know the bang for your money in a shorter period of time so you're getting the advice here on how to go about this because you want stuff to last well into the future and you're willing to take the chance of making the investment although you know it will grow slowly but at least it will still grow so now you're really looking which one is the best one for you and the high priestess yeah you know that there's great potential to be had and you will do your homework knowing which questions you want answered. You're really listening to your heart intuition. You know, you've, like I said, this could be with family as well. Maybe something has happened and you've heard stories or gossip, whatever you want to call it. And you've always wondered what has taken place there, why the family person did what they did or said what they did and now you have the inside scoop so it changes your perspective a little bit on what it is you think about this person it won't change a lot in your life but it gives you a different way of looking at things you know skeletons in the closet why they are the way they are and you're just letting that go you're keeping you know, if somebody's talking to you and taking you in confidence, you're keeping it to yourself. You're not sharing with others. And the Queen of Swords. Definitely cutting through something this week. Taking a stance. You know, you have the courage and the verbal skill to say what's on your mind 
and get your point across. You're telling the truth, good or bad, but you're definitely saying what's on your mind this week because you're in control. You know, you're keeping an open mind as you're saying things, but something has happened that you realize you need to say something in order for you to feel better about the next step going forward. And the page of rods, yeah, news coming in unexpectedly. You know, good news coming your way. This is in the form of travel, unexpectedly. This can be a long distance call or text message. You're going to hear something from somebody that you, it's going to be very surprising. Good, but surprising nonetheless. And it's going to be a little bit of gossip and all that sort of thing, but you're okay. You can push past all that. You just, you're listening. You're filtering. You know, this could be you making some decisions. Maybe there's been a job offer for some of you in a different time zone, and you're traveling to check it out, see what's around for living accommodations, what it is that they're saying, if it really exists before you make your next move going forward. Ooh, yes, and there you go. The world card, yeah, something, you come to a finish line, something's done, you know, and you've learned to pace yourself. It's taken a while, it's been hard to do this, but now you're starting over. You get that green light to begin again and know that it's safe and you have the backing of the universe to take flight and start fresh and new again. Some of you are dreaming of taking a trip overseas, you know, some place that you've always dreamt about going to see and had a wonderment about, and you're actually taking steps to booking that, which is, wow, you know, congratulations. But whatever this is, you're starting from a fresh new point of perspective in your life. And the Seven of Wands, yeah, look at you standing your ground. Something has made you make a decision. And you're very stubborn in many ways, but you're determined to succeed. So any people that's coming at you with a different sort of attitude, you're standing your ground on the decision that you've already previously made. And nothing's going to change your mind because you know it's the right thing for you and it's going to happen quite quickly and the ace of swords yeah you were feeling stuck for a while on on making this decision and but you're now realizing that it's time you know you've talked to yourself enough about this and you want to clear the air with everything else in your life and Take that next step, and the universe is assisting you here. It's helping you to use your intuition, and you're listening to your own advice, because you're very good at giving advice to others, but sometimes, you know, you forget to take it yourself, but this time, you're realizing that you need to take your own advice before you make your next step. And the Queen of Pentacles, yeah, investing in yourself. Maybe you're thinking of purchasing something here this week or in the very near future. And you're checking your bank accounts. You're not just, you know, because they want X number of dollars for it, you're going to pay it. No, no, no. You're getting the best deal for your money. And you're also making investments for yourself. This could be you actually looking into starting a new business. You know, something on the side that will help you in the future the seven of pentacles yeah look at that investing in yourself putting your money away waiting for it to show what it's going to pay you in the future and you're willing to wait you've put a lot of hard labor and time and energy and effort into this and now you're just seeing what the next step is going forward and the chariot look at you take off you know you're rewarding yourself you're getting out from underneath a dead-end situation, finally, and you have now optimism back in your life. You know, you have your willpower, you're taking trips again for yourself and starting to enjoy yourself a little bit, but you still have 
you know, you're healing yourself, but you, you still have that mindset of, I want to do this. I'm going to do this. And you're reaching for that gold ring and nothing is going to sidetrack you. You're very determined to succeed and will because you have that willpower to do it this week. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you a fairy card. But yours are all about investing in your future, standing your ground, making a decision, and going forward with it. Happy news about your career. Promotions or scholarships. Will well thought out plans that go perfectly. Needing a little push to get going. Perfect. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you again next week. Bye for now.